realagriculture.com canola school is brought to you by Syngenta Crop Protection Camp. We're here today at realagriculture.com with Troy Prosovsky with the Canola Council of Canada. Welcome today, Troy. Thanks, Sean. Troy, we are maybe sitting in one of the best examples of crusting we could possibly find in Western Canada. Uh, let's talk about crusting. What are some of the issues and kind of demonstrate for us? Well, first of all, what happens with crusting is, um, is we get excess moisture and then uh, what happens is the soil particles almost form um, almost like a cement layer. And uh, what happens is, is it dries too fast and then so we get this heavy crusting on top. And then if we look underneath on the bottom, we end up getting wetter, moister soils and, uh, and leaving this muddy kind of area underneath. And um, what we want to do is, uh, what we want is, or I guess what our problems are is our, our seed stays in the ground too long and it, uh, and it won't push through that crust. So um, lots of guys are, uh, are thinking of different ideas of what to do, but the first thing that we want to do is we want to actually look at our field and see what our stand establishment is. See if we got our two, three plants per square foot. And if we do have a viable crop there, two, three plants per square foot, maybe the best idea is just to leave it, especially with a crop like canola. Because once we have a crop like canola, it's seeded so shallow and it's so small that we can break off that little bit of uh, that, uh, that seed that's just starting to poke out, that, that's germing. And, uh, and if you do uh, damage that, then, then that seed will, uh, will never produce a plant. So here we have a very extreme example. It, it's almost like, you know, it is almost like concrete. The chunks are huge. Would a canola plant have any opportunity to punch through that? Um, through some of the cracks, possibly the canola plant can. Um, but uh, what some guys are doing is they're uh, they're making decisions like uh, running um, a harrow over it, uh, maybe a diamond back upside down, or um, or spring harrows. They're turning them under ninety, so they're almost straight down. And how uh, very shallow? Uh, very very shallow. You just want to skiff that. You want to you want to break up the ground as as uh, little as possible. You just want enough, just so a little bit of air and a little bit of sun will get in into those cracks and dry up that soil and uh, help that seed get on its way and uh, produce a plant. So what are what is something that we definitely under no circumstance want to do? Well, uh, some producers were calling me up and giving me the question of uh, throwing a roller on it uh, um, for stones. And uh, you know, after talking with a few of my colleagues and Murray Hartman, uh, they said, no, you'll end up turning your, your entire field into a tarmac. Uh, it'll just, it will be almost like concrete and uh, likely never be able to have uh, anything, any sort of plant come out of there. So uh, underneath, if we, if we pulled back some pieces, um, we can see that it's, it's obviously very hard on top. It's almost like mud, well it is mud underneath. Uh, so uh, is, is the, seed, the seeds most likely sitting in very dry dirt or I guess either mud as well. Yeah, does canola have much chance of rotting? Or how long can it sit in, that, in this sort of soil? Well, you see, that all depends on the temperatures. And this this season that we've been having, um, it's been a little bit a uh, little bit cooler temperatures, so they will last a little bit longer in there. Um, if you look at like a legume, like a pea um, or a lentil, they won't last as long in the ground. They'll usually rot or get a disease right away, a seedling disease. Um, if we look at wheat, on the other hand, it'll last a little bit longer. Canola is somewhere in between there, and uh, it will if it if it doesn't uh, use up its seedling energy right away to come out of the ground. It will just end up uh, end up dying on us. Okay, Troy. Thanks a lot. Thanks, John.